The evolution of the tight end position has been one of the most fascinating aspects of football in recent years. These guys tend to be unique weapons built in all sorts of shapes and sizes. And as of late, it seems that in order to win at the highest level, NFL teams need to have a major difference maker at the tight end position. 49ers have George Kittle, a nasty blocker who also loves making plays with the ball in his hands. The Chiefs obviously have Travis Kelsey, an elite pass catcher who gets moved around the field that can also lay out a block when he needs to. And the list goes beyond those two names. While some tight ends have been drafted in the first round, plenty of superstars have been selected in the second round or later. So in this video, we're going to break down five of the most intriguing tight ends available in the 2024 NFL Draft. Let's kick things off with the most heralded tight end prospect in the 2024 NFL Draft, Brock Bowers. Bowers' collegiate career at Georgia has been absolutely incredible. Week in and week out, Bowers has continued to stun spectators with his unique skill set. He's only 6'4 and 240 pounds, which is slightly undersized for the tight end position, but he's got game-breaking talents and is as explosive as dynamite. With 175 catches, 2,538 receiving yards, and an impressive 31 total touchdowns during his college career, he's clearly made a massive impact. Yet it's not merely the numbers that define Bauer's excellence, but instead how he achieves them. One of Bauer's most compelling attributes are his reliable hands, boasting drop rates consistently below 5% across all three of his collegiate seasons. Whether he's snatching passes in traffic or streaking down the sideline, Bowers has got the type of confidence and composure that'll quickly gain the trust of any quarterback that he ends up playing with. Though his playing style is different, he shows similarities to Travis Kelsey in terms of his potential as a pass catcher. Capable of lining up in the slot, out wide, or in the traditional tight end role, he possesses a full route tree that rivals that of seasoned veterans. His explosive athleticism and high-level route running ability enable him to create separation from defenders with ease, leaving them grasping at thin air as he bursts in to open space. Sounds like a pretty exciting NFL prospect, right? But we've barely gotten to the best part. It's Bowers' freakish skills after the catch that truly set him apart from his peers. Bowers just seems to have a natural flow with the ball in his hands. He can dictate pace and use his vision to create and find holes which he blasts through with power and elite footwork. He's got elite explosiveness and acceleration as well as a violent side to his game that make him incredibly hard to tackle. But as we know, tight ends aren't just receivers, they need to block too. While Bowers lacks the size of traditional tight ends, his technique and tenacity more than compensate for any physical shortcomings. He'll need to work on his skills as a pass blocker at the next level, but his explosiveness and strength make him a dynamic impact blocker that can put defenders flat on their asses. Anyone that's doubting this dude because of his physical stature are reading too far into it. Bowers is going to be a unique dominant, and versatile weapon for whatever team that drafts him. The chances of him slipping outside of the top 10 are slim by our estimation, so very few teams are going to get a shot at drafting Bowers. But don't worry, there are other compelling tight ends available. Bowers is in a class of his own at this point, and after him, there aren't any other seemingly surefire prospects. Instead, teams will identify prospects that they see talent in that will fit with their scheme. Which leads us to the second-ranked tight end prospect in the draft, Jatavion Sanders. Sanders emerged as a force to be reckoned with long before he ever stepped foot onto a college field. Standing at 6'4 and weighing in at 243 pounds, Sanders has the blend of size, skill, and athleticism that every team covets at the position. In high school, Sanders dominated as a versatile playmaker on both sides of the ball, as a receiver and as a defensive end. He was just one of those dudes that was so big and athletic that you could have put him at any position and he would have been the best player on the field. He earned himself the label of a five-star recruit that could have gone to any college program in the country, and he chose to stay in his home state to become a Texas Longhorn. Despite initially seeing limited action on special teams during his freshman year, his potential was undeniable. Then during his sophomore season, Sanders got the opportunity to show off his talents. Blessed with a rare combination of strength, speed, and soft hands, Sanders is the type of player that you can watch for five minutes and quickly realize that has star NFL potential. He's got elite hands for a man of his size and the coordination to make spectacular catches in traffic. He can go up and make catches at the highest point, making him a matchup nightmare. Sanders loves to go deep and make plays upfield where he can dominate linebackers and defensive backs. So you might be wondering, 
Why isn't this guy a surefire first round pick? He sounds like a stud. Well, he might be. But the truth is that Sanders has a lot of question marks in his game as well. For starters, he isn't an excellent route runner, especially on short and intermediate routes. He loves to get up field and block in space, but as a pass blocker, he lacks technique and often gets beat even by college edge rushers. And he plays the game a little too upright. When you imagine forceful tight ends with the ball in their hands, you imagine getting low and busting through tackles. That's not really Sanders. Tacklers can sometimes get underneath him and initiate impact. In some ways, right now, Sanders' deficiencies leave some question marks about his versatility. But his upside sure is tantalizing. Next up, we feature a tight end who had an almost opposite path on his way to the NFL draft. While every college program wanted a piece of Jatavion Sanders, not a single program was offering Ben Sennett a scholarship. Standing tall at 6'4 and weighing 254 pounds, Sennett's journey began as a zero-star recruit who tried out as a walk-on at Kansas State University. Needless to say, he made the team and never looked back. Despite the odds stacked against him, Sennett wasted no time in proving his worth on the gridiron. As a freshman, Sennett was assigned to play fullback and he quietly became a star in his limited role. By outworking his peers and continuously improving, Sennett gained the trust of his coaching staff and saw his role continue to expand throughout his entire college career. Since Sennett wasn't handed anything easily, he has accumulated a wide range of skills as a blocker and a receiver. Now heading into the draft, that versatile package of tools makes him a compelling prospect entering the NFL draft. Whether he's lined up in line, in the slot, or in the backfield, Sennett's ability to seamlessly transition between roles makes him a sneaky weapon that will allow his offensive coordinator to keep their opponent's defense guessing. Sennett might not have elite explosiveness or the ability to make game-breaking catches, but he's got a strong tight end frame and refined technical skills that'll immediately make him the kind of tight end that every team loves to have on their side. And if his college career is any indication, don't bet against Sennett to keep improving, because he's proven to have a great attitude a keen work ethic, and a strong desire to refine his craft. Speaking of refining their craft, the next tight end in our video just recently shifted to the position, but he looks like a natural with intriguing upside. We're talking about a prospect named Cade Stover, who was heavily recruited out of high school as a relentless pass rusher who committed to Ohio State. But once he arrived, the Buckeyes thought this dude would make a nasty tight end. In 2021, he split the season playing both offense and defense. Then in 2022, he switched over to tight end full time. And when it comes to tools, Stover's got them. At six foot four and 250 pounds, Stover is built like an NFL tight end. And on top of that, he's got the elite motor of a blitzing defensive end. Stover runs hard and loves contact. He displays a natural ability to burst out of his stance and maneuver through coverage, making him a constant threat in the passing game. He might not have elite speed, but he has explosive burst, which allows him to quickly get open on short and intermediate routes and then tag on the yak. When Stover has the ball in his hands, you know the play's going to end in a forceful collision. But Stover remains very raw as a tight end prospect. While we discussed how Ben Sennett is advanced and proven versatility as a blocker, Stover's the opposite. He still often gets lost on assignments and makes mental errors both as a route runner and a blocker. It's to be expected of a prospect still just learning the position, but it still remains uncertain if he can improve in those areas after getting drafted enough to stay on the field. If he can, he has a compelling upside as a bruising tight end who can spark energy with his violent streak and motor. But if he doesn't make those improvements, coaches won't be able to use him on offense. Last but not least, we're going to take a look at one of our favorite tight end prospects, Jaheim Bell. Jaheim Bell is sort of a tweener. He's one of those prospects that doesn't really fit the prototype of any particular position on the football field, but that's why we love him. Standing at six foot three and weighing 244 pounds, Bell is most certainly undersized for an NFL tight end. But when you can play, you can play, and Jaheim Bell can most certainly play. In college, Bell has taken on multiple roles, such as an H-back or slot receiver due to his exceptional movement skills and agility in open space. His versatility across formations allows coaches to deploy him as a jumbo receiving back in order to exploit mismatches in the passing game. The most intriguing part of Bell's game lies in his ability to make plays after the catch. He's got exceptional skills as a ball carrier. He can dance, has explosive power, and incredible balance. Tackling Bell is like trying to get in the way of a boulder rolling downhill. It's going to be painful, and he can catch the ball too. 
He has strong hands when catching in traffic and at times has shown the ability to snatch the ball out of the air with ease. Clearly, Bell has a unique ability of power, speed, coordination, and skill. He seems to have a strong understanding of one coverage and finds ways to find holes on short routes, and after making catches, he loves to rumble on for a few more yards to get to the marker. But Bell has some limitations. For starters, his lack of size will always limit his abilities as a blocker compared to some more traditional tight ends. He doesn't have the height to make plays over the top, and he's not a very good route runner on medium or deeper routes. Still, teams shouldn't overlook what he does bring on the field. We love the fact that he can line up in different spots as both a blocker or a pass catcher who is dangerous with the ball in his hands. Whichever team drafts Bell in the mid to late rounds is going to get a compelling weapon who we most certainly can't wait to watch on the NFL field. But we want to know what you guys think. Which tight end do you think will thrive at the NFL level? Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more sports news and insights.